Hey guys, welcome back into our uh, VCP 6.5 ICM hands-on series. This is the lab 2 on this series. As the title says on our slide, in this lab we will go ahead and configure the ESXi host that we had just installed in the previous lab. So in the previous lab we went ahead and configured our UCS and we ended up installing ESXi. But we have not done any kind of configuration on that ESXi host. When I say the configuration, uh, we have not configured any IP address or any other change that you like to do. So so we will go ahead and explore some of the options or some of the things that uh, we will go ahead and configure in this lab. So this is the high level objective that we'll go through in this lab. We'll go ahead and take a look at the ESXi console. A lot of people refer to it just a console. Some documentation says this is DCUI, which is nothing but direct console user interface. Uh, you are familiar, a lot of people just call it console instead of calling the direct console user interface. We'll also go ahead and take a look how do you really configure the management network. When I say the management network will be the network uh, or the IP address that we will be assigning to the EXI host for the day-to-day -day management of this ESXi host like reachability doing an SSL or later on adding this host to our vCenter server. So we will be making use of this management network. We'll also go ahead and learn how can you uh, really enable the SSL directly from this console interface and then we'll quickly uh, take a look at some of the system logs again from the console point of view. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and jump back to our ESXi console. In the last lab, we had done the install after installing or the reboot. We are sitting on this prompt. So now let's go ahead and start configuring uh, our ESXi host. So there are quite a bit of few options. And on the bottom, if you see on the left hand side, it says, hey, F2, customize system or view logs. If you want to do any kind of customization with the ESXi host, just simply go ahead and hit the F2 key. So now let's go ahead and hit the F2 key on the keyboard. You are presented with the your authentication uh, so you can see the default username is root so during the install of the ESXi host ESXi creates a, a default user by name root uh, you cannot change that during the installation so remember the password we specified during the install that was the password for this root user so now let's go ahead and supply that password over here and once you're done just simply go ahead and press enter and now uh, we are into the DCUI or simply call as console so within this console there are quite a bit a few of options the default uh, our cursor is on the configure password let's say for some reason you want to change the password uh, that you supplied during the install or later any time you can come back to this option and change the password to configure any kind of a management network you would uh, scroll down to configure management network is the option if you need to restart your management network you can go ahead and do it from here if you need to take a look at your system logs uh, you can go ahead and uh, do it from here there are some troubleshooting options and other things uh, that we can take a a look. So the first thing we'll go ahead and uh, do is we'll go ahead and configure or specify or assign an IP address to this ESXi host. Before I go ahead and assign an IP address, I want to make sure that the IP address that I'm planning to use, it's not being assigned to any of other my device and that IP is not reachable. And as you can see, I'm trying to reach this IP address. And as of right now, this IP address is not reachable. So that's good. So that means I can go ahead and make use of this IP address uh, for this ESXi. So to assign the IP address, we need to go back into the console, uh, go to the configure management network. And once you're on this option, just simply go ahead and press an arrow key here. On the top of the screen, you can see it says configure management network and there are quite a bit of options available here. Network adapter. Network adapter simply refers to the physical NIC list. If you want to see how many NIC are on this uh, ESXi host, you can go to network adapters and simply go ahead and press enter. In my case, there are uh, there are four VNIC ports available. VNIC 0, 1, 2, and 3. And in my case, we need 0, 2, and 3 are connected. Connected indicate that there is a physical cable connected and they are connected to my upstream switch. If everything looks good, if you need to uh, make any change, select different NIC for outside connectivity, you can go ahead and press a space bar and then simply hit OK. In my case, VM NIC 0 is good, so we will just leave it to default and just simply to come out, I'll go ahead and press an escape key here. If there is a VLAN required in your network to go outside, you can go ahead and configure the VLAN and the VLAN. Uh, similarly, if you need, want to configure an IP address, IPv4, you under IPv4 configuration. If you need to assign a v6 address, you can make use of the IPv6 configuration. If you need to do any kind of a DNS configuration, let's say you want to do a DNS based lookup, hostname based lookup, you can go ahead and configure your DNS information, your DNS suffixes. So now let's go ahead and start and assign the IP address to our 
ESXi host and if you recall that we were pinging an IP address just to make sure that that IP address is not reachable and that's the case so without any further ado let's go ahead and assign an IP address and by default you can see the system is configured to use a dynamic IP address that means try to get an IP address from a DHCP server if there is one in your environment in this environment I don't have a DHCP so I will be assigning a static so I'll come down to the next option press the space bar to select this option and now we have these field highlighted so now let's go ahead and configure an IP address for your ESXi go ahead and configure a mask for this ESXi and last but not the least is go ahead and configure the default gateway and when everything is done as it says hey simply go ahead and press enter for ok so i'll go ahead and press enter ok now once the ip address is assigned you can see that ip address becomes visible on the right hand side of the screen uh but this ip address changes has are not being applied if you want to save these changes just simply go ahead and press one time escape as on the bottom right it says if you press it will do an exit but in this case we made some changes so let's see what happens when you press escape only once you will you are presented with a dialog box that says hey can configure management network confirm that means we have made some changes to the uh, management network and this dialog box saying okay are you really want to apply those changes and if you want to apply the changes it needs to restart the management network and that's the case we want for that we simply can go ahead and press on y on our keyboard if the changes you applied are incorrect or you need to make any change you can simply go ahead and do cancel or no but in my case it's okay so i'll go ahead and simply press y here and if everything went well and if i have a good connectivity i should be getting a reply back from my ESXi host and as you can see we are getting a reply back that means that IP address is reachable we can reach the CSXI host onto our network using this IP address so that looks good and similarly if you want to assign any IPv6 address from the same page you can go ahead and uh, do that so with that now let's go ahead and uh, see how we can enable the SSH uh, working from the console is good but it's not convenient every time because we have to launch the KVM console go to the CIMCs uh, so most of the time it's good to have SSH access enabled to your ESXi host if you're doing any kind of troubleshooting that becomes uh, very handy so to enable the SSH uh, within this console we have an option that says troubleshooting options so under the troubleshooting options if you can see on the right hand side it says hey to view various troubleshooting mode options like enable ESXi shell enable SSH and restart agents those are the options available under the troubleshooting option and that's what we want so once you have highlighted troubleshooting options just simply go ahead and press enter here and under this there are few more options as we read in the description hey enable esxi shell enable ssh modify esxi shell and ssh timeout and other things so in this case we are interested in enabling the ssh shell by default the ssh is disabled so if at this stage if i try to do an ssh to this esxi host we will not be able to do that and just to confirm that let's go ahead and launch the puri and try to connect to the above IP address that we just assigned to our ESXi host and we should not be able to connect to the ESXi host and that's the reason because the ESXi SSH is disabled so now let's go ahead and enable the SSH to simply enable the SSH just simply go ahead and press enter on this option that says enable SSH once you're done by default now it says okay hey SSH is enabled right now and again just to simply come out from this page uh, go ahead and press an exit key or the escape key and you are out in the case of when you are enabling any troubleshooting option uh, there is no confirmation dialog boxes presented so now let's go ahead and try to reconnect to our ESXi host using the SSH so this time you can see uh, we are being presented with the RSA fingerprint and some of the other things if everything is okay I should be able to log in using our root credentials of this ESXi host and as you can see we have logged on successfully using SSH to our ESXi host there are a few more options within this console and again you know uh, one of the another option that I feel is very important is taking a look at some of the system logs if you want to take a look at the system log there are different options that you can do you can press one for the syslog two for VM kernel three for config and, and so on so now let's go ahead and simply go here and press one so once we press one you are presented with this is log you can take a look at the bottom of the screen it says okay hey, if you're done you can press q for quit or if you need some more help you can press h here if you need to scroll down you can press the space bar on your keyboard to take a look at further logs if everything is good uh, then you can just simply press q and come out from the uh, logs view 
and you are presented or you are back into the console. So within this console, there are uh, quite a bit of uh, good options. Once you are done, you can just simply press escape and come out to the main screen. Now on the main screen, you can see, okay, the IP address that we assigned to our ESXi host and some of the other details. Again, if you ever need to customize, just simply go ahead and press F2. If you need to restart or shut down this ESXi host, you can just simply go ahead and press F12. So hopefully uh, you like this lab and thank you so much.